Hey, what's up? Lightful Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the brand new 2022 Netflix original film, The Bubble. This is written and directed by Judd Apatow. Um, Iris Apatow is in this. Leslie Mann is in this. I'm, I was very excited to see Judd and his uh, wonderful, in incredible, incredible actress of the life, uh, Leslie. Um, Iris, their daughter. Was there other daughter in this? I don't think there are other daughters in this. I love watching friends act together. I love watching family members act together. It's just something I always enjoy doing. Ben Falcone and Melissa McCarthy, anytime they're together, is absolutely perfect. Um, Sarah Michelle Gellar, Freddie Prince Jr. together is always perfect. So I love watching found family or family family act together, right? I've expressed that numerous times. So being a written and directed by Judd Apatow film, I had high expectations for this particular comedy. Uh, Keegan Michael Key is in this. You have Pedro Pascal is in this. Um, Karen Gillan is in this. So so many people are in this film. It's it's absurd. So it's it's a COVID bubble, and the movie is about a production company trying to make the sixth installment of a film series called Cliff Beasts, and they're in a bubble at a hotel. But the, uh, the so, this movie was was awful, and. So much of it did not make sense, and it was over. It was about two hours long, and there was no reason why it was, and it wasn't even funny. It was just cringe. It was, it was like a fever dream. It was a straight up fever dream. It was so awkward. Um, the purpose of the COVID bubble, right, is to they're filming a film while the COVID pandemic started in 2020. Okay, so to have a bubble, they have to be on site on property. No one in or out, you know, aside from safe distancing and such, um, to make sure all the actors and crew are safe. Okay. Very confused with the bubble because the actors and crew are bubbling in a hotel, which is also housing other guests that are in and out. So there's a, there's a soccer team bubbling as well as the production crew and cast of this film in this hotel, right? But the studio that they're filming at is not on property. It's not at the hotel. They have to go to the studio. So they're leaving the bubble to film, but then go back to the bubble. But it's, a, it's irrelevant because they're not bubbling. It, 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 it was, it was, the plot made no sense, man. No sense. So all chaos ensues and who's escaping when and, and who's demanding better treatment because everyone's now being forced to work while having the flu and Leslie Mann's hand gets blown off at some point. It was, it, it was so random. It was like a fever dream. It was genuinely like a fever dream. It was, I had when I, okay, it's the best comparison I can give. Back in 2017, five years ago, uh, June, 2017, back in June, 2017, I first started to eat vegan. And for my own personal stuff, right? To help my body, etc. And I'm not vocal about it. Very much so at all, right? But five years ago, over five years, five years and two months ago, I started this. I was a big meat eater. I was a big dairy eater. I, I was a big, I, I ate pizza and cheeseburgers all the time, right? Loved it. So, and yes, there's vegan versions now, but back then that barely existed. So the first week that I started to eat vegan I cut everything, right? I cut I, I cut wheat product as well, which it was just going on a gluten-free thing. I, I cut out as much processed stuff as I could for a week. Just eat clean and raw. Well, I, I ate cooked stuff, but clean. Vegan. No meat, no egg, no dairy. Nothing from nothing. Nothing from anything with a face. That's the best way to remember that. I had the craziest dreams that week. And I was just constantly sweating and I had fever dreams. I had literal fever dreams while my body was detoxing because I was so used to animal products for so long. My body was literally detoxing to get the animal products out. I literally sweat my ass off every single night. I woke up, my sheets were soaked. It was disgusting. One week, it was terrible. Um, this is not encouraging anybody to eat vegan, but hey, to each their own. This is what, what my experiences were. And so... I had the craziest dreams. The most vivid dreams was that I was being literally hunted and attacked by these giant cheeseburgers. And the best visual I can give you is the cheese spider in Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2. Looked almost exactly like it, but it was more humanoid, not spider. 
Um, it, it literally had weapons and various of them. It wasn't just one cheeseburger hunter. It was many cheeseburger hunters. And they were literally hunting and killing me violently and then eating me. It was the craziest, craziest bleeping bleep bleep I could have ever even hypothesized. It was so terrifying. I would wake up sweating constantly. Those are fever dreams, okay? When you have a fever or when you're sick, you have a virus and you are you have a fever to get rid of the virus, you're going to have crazy dreams. When you eat something spicy and you're not used to it, you're going to have crazy dreams. It's just how, the, it's, it's how it works. I can't explain why. I'm sure there's a scientific reason why you have crazy dreams for certain metabolic aspects. I don't, I'm not a scientist. I'm not a dietitian. I can't explain that to you. But from my experience, that is the best comparison I can give to this movie. The bubble, it was like watching a fever dream. Every random chaotic thing that could happen happened, but in a non-logical sense. And it was so cringe watching it. It was like watching a fever dream. I genuinely felt like I was week one of eating vegan, and that's what these visions were again. It was scary, man. It was bro, it was it was rough. It was what rough watching this and then not even a twist at the end, but the change of like, oh, you know, it was such a failed production. We're just going to turn it into a documentary. And I'm like, why was this two hours long? I, I wasted so much time. I would have rather gone back to day one, week one of Eaton Vegan. I would pay for that show. I would genuinely have paid for that movie. That would be a crazy movie. Crazy movie. Vegan week. That's all I got to call it. Vegan week. And see what happens during the different dream sequences each day, right? The detoxing from animal products coming out and then the crazy dreams, night one, night two, night three. That was a scary time, man. Scary time. I don't want to ever revisit that again. I've been five years, two months so far. Um, Yeah, th that's, that's it. The bubble, man. It's on Netflix. Don't watch it. It's not good. On to the next review. Which mahalo.